What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina, and I'm excited. I'm so excited to share with y'all this new journey in my life, in my husband's life. We are expecting, and my body, I am pregnant. <laughs> so, 17 weeks to be exact and counting, and God has blessed, blessed, blessed beyond measure. And I told myself, I wasn't gonna cry. I tell myself that every time, and I knew better. Um, but know that these are real emotions. These are real feelings. Um, this can't be practiced. <laughs> but I knew that with my online family, I wanted to share it with you. And not only share it with you, but take you down the road with some of the practical things and the journey that I have gone through. Um, and why this is essential to me. Let me first say this, for those of you that are newer to my channel, um, as I mentioned, I'm Dr. Nina. I am a clinic director, a full professor, a licensed clinical and school psychologist, a certified professional life coach. I have a mentorship membership. I own my own business. I do YouTube. And after even establishing all those wonderful things, I met and married my husband about a year and a half ago in 2021, December of 2021. I met him though uh, in 2018 and it has been a blessing. It has been a blessing to get to this point. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to my circle. I'm grateful to God. It's just a lot. It's a lot. Um, on top of that, this year marks so many celebratory things. I'll be 40 years old this year, unapologetically unashamed. I love my age because I've been able to do so much with the time. And I want to make sure that I help you to understand that this is not going to become a mommy blog. Let's say that. <laughs> but it will be shared as a part of my journey. So I do need some help from y'all. As I continue to share self-care, hygiene, love of taking care of self, how does family work into that? All of that, I need to hear from y'all. Like This is the time to comment, not just congratulations, because I know a lot of y'all love me and I love you too, but also what you want to see in this new era. What do you want to hear from me? And what do you want to hear from the family? We're also doing some other things. So definitely want to hear that from you because you are a part of my journey, a big integral part. And I'm grateful for you all who reach out, who see differences and spot differences and let me know certain things. Um, many of you all have been already telling me I'm glowing for like the past few months. So here you go. Not that I didn't already think I had a glow, but Jesus, yeah, I was telling you, girl. Um, so in this journey and in some of the coming videos, I do plan to share to you how things have changed for me, including my hygiene, my self-care, my fitness, my weight gain, because y'all know this is a big thing. Your girl lost over 100 pounds almost 20 years ago, so that's kind of changed. But in today's video, I just want to kind of run down some basic things to introduce you to some of the content that's going to come later on so yeah i'm gonna hear from y'all check out things about me down below if you're newer here in the description but let's get into some of the things that people ask and i know y'all gonna put some questions here so i know what direction to go in so i'm looking forward to that don't you worry worry dr nina's here to help you through it all mentally physically so of course my closer circle knows that I'm pregnant and being pregnant for 17 weeks is a, a bit of time, it's over four months. Um, one of the things that I do wanna share is, do I feel any different? Number one, heck yeah, I feel different. Honey, I'm pregnant, pregnant, hold on. Pregnant, <laughs> pregnant, pregnant. So yes, I feel different. I got the little baby bump. You know, I'm man maneuvering things differently. Um, just even right down to my feeling of fitness, walking up the steps, I breathe hard. I'm breathing hard right now. I'm surprised most of y'all hadn't said anything. I haven't been posting as much for that reason, especially when I first got pregnant, I couldn't breathe. It was so difficult, but I'm gonna share the story of how I knew I was pregnant probably on the next video or a few videos down, but y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the hard breathing, you know, the tiredness in first trimester. I'm willing to second trimester now, but first trimester I slept 
all the time. I mean, morning, noon, day, night, whenever. Also just uh, feeling different from myself. I literally feel like my body has been given to someone else and I'm okay with that for now. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's interesting and I'm going to discuss my feelings about that too. Pregnancy has been pretty much nice to me, but I can also say honestly that, you know, 80% of the time I'm real, real happy. 20% of the time I'm like, woo, pregnancy is a thing, okay? It's, it, it ain't for the faint at heart, but I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it, but I'm definitely not one of those women that's just like, oh, it's just so beautiful. It's so wonderful. You, you know, sometimes, uh huh. Uh, between the using the bathroom all the time, between the, uh, you know, random tiredness, irritability, hormones, but I am blessed with a support system. My husband being number one, you know, he has through this cooked, clean, made sure, and he does that anyway, but he has really had to step up because your girl was falling asleep on conversations, okay? Falling asleep when it was time to do work, falling asleep. And, and I'm so blessed to have had him during this process because <sighs> y'all, and we, we gonna have more videos on that. So that's the first thing. So how am I feeling? That kind of sums it up and it's all over the place. I'm definitely not myself but in a good way. I feel like just like any transformation or thing that you might go through, whether it's starting a new job, moving to a new city, you go through the adjustments, you work through it and you give yourself grace. And that's where I am. How are you feeling? I feel good. You know, there's a, a lot of things kind of going through my mind. So I feel that our parents did a very good job on the both of us. So because of that, I feel I feel very prepared. I feel as prepared as I feel like we could get because we turned out pretty well. Did we turned we? out very I mean, we turned out all we right. We did all right. You even standing like a daddy. Yeah, okay. That's how I'm like get a load of them hands. Okay. All right, sure. Okay. Hand placement. Hand placement, that's dad hands. Okay, dad hands. <laughs> <laughs> my eating habits have definitely changed. My husband will say that I eat like a little kid because he be saying that I be wanting like little kids meals and things like that. Well, the truth is I just have to eat more often because I get very nauseous or I used to get very nauseous, especially in first trimester. It's gotten much better. It didn't start getting much better till week like 16, 15, 16. But right now I'm not as nauseous like I used to be. There are still some food triggers. There's still some things that I don't really enjoy. In fact, y'all know I love green vegetables. You know, I love lean proteins. I love stuff like that. I love my coffee, my water. And at one point, some of that stuff was annoying. Talk about green vegetables. Some of it was making me gag, okay? Like salads, stuff like that. But then I got into a point where all I wanted was salad. All I wanted was soup. All I wanted was kids meals with chicken nuggets in them. It's an interesting journey, okay? <laughs> and let's even say like at one point, and even now, I cannot stand the smell of hot coffee. If y'all have seen any of my morning routines, anything like that, no cap, honey. I love my coffee, but not now. Not now, the act of grace and the act of love right now is I still make my husband's morning coffee. But you best believe I'm almost gagging through it because it smells like a skunk to me. If it ain't cold brew with some almond milk creamer in it, can't do it, can't do it. If it ain't a mocha, can't do it. But regular coffee, y'all be having your girl gagging, okay? Same thing was with like the green vegetables for a little while. Same thing happened um, with fish. I love salmon. And at one point, salmon grossed me out. And at one point, those things just no longer served me. Um, so I'm eating very basic things and I'm finding myself reclaiming my palate. For one week, all I could eat was like, I was eating Captain Crunch all week. I love me some peanut butter crunch. I was eating honey bunches of oats for one week. Grapes, watermelon. Watermelon is my friend, okay? As far as fitness, still work out. Through the first trimester, I was extra careful. 
I did not work out as hard as normal. That did lead to, of course, some natural weight gain. You gain weight. And that messed with my head. This ain't the video for this, but when you've kept so much weight off for years, it is hard to see yourself gain weight, which I assured or was assured by my husband, but my doctor, uh, that that's definitely a good thing. And I'm not overly gaining. In fact, in like since a month ago, I think I've gained like two or three pounds. So not horrible, but on me, it definitely shows, okay? And so hearing people say things that didn't know, they were like, oh, you look good, your face looks fuller or things like that. And I'm like, mm. girl, boy. Like, don't don't comment on the weight. So it was little stuff like that. Um, but I'm still pulling through. I do a lot of walking. Um, I do a lot of aerobic exercises. I lift, but I don't lift anything over 20 pounds, which y'all know is hard for me. Your girl used to go hard with over, like squatting and over, squatting and other exercises over 100 pounds. Eh, that's down too, but I know it's for the greater good. I know it's for a great cause, but I also feel like I'm still keeping up with my routine and regimen, still working out about five to six days a week, even when I don't feel like it. So that's where we are there. And I'm gonna dig deeper in another video about my weight gain and how that's been making me feel, but overall, okay, we good. Ah, God is blessed. We are here. I am pregnant, like pregnant. Wow. He did know, he did know from the beginning and I was like very nervous to take a pregnancy test. That's what he probably don't know. But I just wanted to kind of ease my mind. Well, I, I feel like the other part is being nervous about the opportunity for the child to come out healthy, I should say. As of right now, I know there's big questions about like, how are you feeling about the birth of your child, all of those different things. I haven't quite, even though we're almost there because at week 20, we have to have a solid plan, um, decided everything there. My husband was born in water. He was, he did like, his mother did like a labertha birth. I think birth is what it's called. So he was born into water and um, I've learned more about that. Um, but my sister recently gave birth in November and she had a regular hospital birth and that was what she highly recommended for me <laughs> with an epidural and all of that. So, you know, as we get closer to that, we'll discuss some of that. In terms of how I'm feeling about this process emotionally, I feel emotionally like excited and nervous at the same time. Like I'm adopted, right? So what some people here don't know about me because I don't mention it in every video, I don't know all my history. I know that right now um, we've gone through all the genetic screenings. We've gone through all that. Everything's absolutely fine. The genetic screenings of the baby are fine, but I still worry. I don't know all of my, you know, personality characteristics from both sides. I know my husband and his family and all of that. And my husband tends to be more chill, more business minded. He is a mechanical engineer with the MBA. I tend to be all over the place. If you can't tell, yes, I got it together, but it took years to get there. And so I know that for me, not worry, but I hope I'm able to support this little baby's personality. Um, Cause I know it's going to be a mixture of great things. And even just thinking about it, makes me emotional I'm so careful about it and thinking about the world that we're in because I'm not blind to that I just know it's going to be important to protect the baby and I'm grateful that my husband's on board with that but also teaching and informing and making sure that this child is aware of the world they're coming into <sighs> So it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot of adjustments emotionally uh, physically mentally and you know even though i'm happy that i was able able to make the decisions that i made that oftentimes the world talks badly about i'm glad i put my career first i'm glad that i built the tools and the building blocks in order for me to be at this place so that i'm able to focus on parenthood it makes all the world of difference so ladies 
do not feel bad about going and getting that career, going and buying that home, going and doing the things that you want to do. I feel self-sufficient, which also attracted my husband who was more than self-sufficient so that we could come together and now we can feel comfortable in becoming parents, you know? Um, so the scaredness was never that I wouldn't be able to take care of a child. I'd never questioned that even on my own. However, just making sure I have the things to support that child and thinking carefully, not about what I want for them, but also what their needs are. So emotionally, I will say I've been going through that. I've had to pray a lot through that. I've had to have my circle pray about that, but it has been a grand blessing to think about where my life could have been versus where it is. And I'm so happy that this baby will get the best the best version, the best version of me and my husband in our home. It could come a minute sooner. Oh, and I thank God for every breakup, every problem, every no, every door that closed before now. Because it's, um, it's really shaped me into the person that I am today. And so it can help me to be even more excited about this new journey. But I'm looking forward to it, y'all. I'm absolutely looking forward to it. And I'm sorry for the emotions. Some people associate crying with anything negative, but let me assure you, this is positive tears, but they're real, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to that piece. So let's talk about health wise, like in terms of the adjustments to going to the doctor, things like that. So let me share something with y'all that those that have made it to this point will know. Um, and you'll know that insight for some of the next few videos. Um, we started off doing IVF. Okay. Uh, and I'm not going to tell that whole story here, but that's not what worked for us getting pregnant. God blessed us to spontaneously get pregnant. Um, and I will say this, IVF was out of my own anxiety early on. And when I say early on, it's not that we had been trying that long because we were only married a year and a half, but I just didn't want to wait too long. And that's the blessing in, you know, being established in your career, having good health care, and also having your own bag as long as well as your partner right um so that was a choice and while others might say that's expensive that's this thank god for the blessing um we spontaneously got pregnant in the midst of it and it was such a, a crazy thing and i'll tell that story later but physically in terms of going to all these doctor's appointments when you do that process you're already going to the doctor a lot so i'm grateful that i actually had that because now as a woman over 35 and advanced maternal age that's what they call it and for some of y'all look weird internet people that want to come over here and talk about oh i don't care honey i'm i'm <laughs> call me old paid and smart okay auntie doing it so basically let me say this um, I had already learned the ups and downs of going to the doctor all the time. With IVF, at least those weeks you're stemming, you're in the doctor every other day, you're doing transvaginal um, ultrasounds, you're doing blood work, you're doing all that. So this has been a breeze. So anyone is saying about doing it after 35, what you can expect is you'll, depending on your doctor, you'll have your OBGYN and you'll also have your advanced maternal doctor. So I have two people checking me and literally my appointments with them are like two weeks apart. So I've gone to the doctor every two weeks since finding out I was pregnant at five weeks. So I have gone back to back to back um, with anatomy scans, some ultrasounds, some, you know, ultrasounds that go within and some that are on the outside, um, blood work and genetic screenings, um, all of that. So you do have to keep up with that. I'm currently taking a prenatal vitamin, which is awesome. And I'm also taking vitamin C. That's all I take right now. Um, I have a few things I mix and match in there, especially the things that I share with you all. Those are still things that I'm taking when I need them. Um, but for the most part, as a pregnant woman, I stay true to the prenatal vitamins as well as vitamin C. Vitamin C because I am older and I don't want my bones to break down while my baby is taken from my bones. 
Um, so uh, my doctor thought that was important to keep the calcium levels high. Uh, for those of you know that know, it can mess with your teeth, it can mess with other things. And so you wanna make sure those calcium levels are good, that vitamin D level is where it should be, um, my iron, all of that. So those prenatals, I take the gummy ones and I'll show y'all those. And I'm also making sure I try to get more sleep. And in fact, I cannot really function without like seven or eight hours. Sometimes I can sleep nine or 10. I'm embarrassed, but I'm, I'm making a human y'all. This we baking a human. And my husband by proxy, I think has also picked up a lot of my symptoms. Um, in fact, when we came back from Africa, I was a little bit nauseous. I felt a little bit sick and he was sick too. I don't think there was anything that happened in Africa because, you know, went to urgent care, everything was fine, but I think we share symptoms too. So that's been interesting. That bond has become stronger in terms of <laughs> look at one another and what we're going through and it's made it easier for us to have discussions and to work with each other and to think about the future um, because we go through a lot of the same stuff so I just feel blessed in that and I won't like I said this video can go on and on and on but I plan to give you all more and I need to hear from you on what you want to hear but that's what this video was about y'all ah <sighs> God is blessed we are here I am pregnant like pregnant wow health wise to having a great family structure i meant to, meant to say that my mother's so excited because she went from having no grandbabies to now you know having one grandbaby and one expected on the way so i feel so blessed because she'll be 75 this year and that's a blessing like she's going to be able to enjoy that and hopefully be moving down here soon so it has been a blessing y'all i will say i can't stop clapping i can't stop smiling and before i start crying again i'm gonna get off this camera so y'all that's what's going on um if you've been noticing that in my content i haven't really showed much of my body anymore like i used to um all those things because i started showing really heavily around weeks 13 14 and i was pretty self-conscious about my body um so <laughs> I didn't want to go through the questions without being ready to announce because I wanted to do this on my own recognizance and I only and I wanted to do it at a time that it was healthy for me. So y'all, that's what we're doing. That's where we at. Thank you so much for your love. I know so many of you had already reached out like, oh, you glowing, glowing. What's the glow? Um, <laughs> so it pays to take care of yourself too because people assign, assume that the glow is probably that you just continually taking care of yourself and you're eating good. So uh, thank you so much for everything, y'all. Uh, make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe, y'all. We gonna have a, your God baby, your niece or your nephew on board. That's another thing. Did you talk about gender? We don't want to know the gender. So I, I should have said that a while ago, a while ago before I even close out. We don't want to know the gender. So we, our yeah. next video is probably going to be about how we knew. Well, I guess I should say how Sean knew <clears throat> I was pregnant. Okay. But we're going to talk about that in another video as to why. And yeah, y'all, make sure that you comment, share, and subscribe. This is your girl, Dr. Nina, beautiful brown baby doll, signing out. Peace.